Here's a 2021 setup to our landscaping. So let me run down here real quick what we did here. Um, this is organized into certain parts because I'm moving and I'm going to be getting rid of stuff. It's pretty much not what's in there, all that I'm keeping, but all that is going to go, including the riding mower, everything here. I do have another snapper, as you guys know, but that one has the top cover off of it because I'm going to be selling those two on, like I sell most of my other mowers. I'm going to be selling them, so I'm trying to clean them up, make them look good. All right. So let's just start off from the small stuff all the way from the big stuff. But what we have in the trailer here, got these gas tanks. This is pretty temporary. I'm going to be buying a no spill five gallon. I'm going to keep this one. So I have a five gallon, a two and a half. Um, here's the headphones I use. We got a 3M work tunes. I like these the best. These ones sound the best, but they're not over ear. They don't protect as much, but they're JBL Everest Elite 300s. They need new uh, pads. And then we have these Husqvarna ear defenders. Got this Carhartt bag, uh, eye protection I use, sunglasses really. And here's power tools because I do some interior work. I use this for moving like uh, sticks and stuff or, or just shrubs or whatever that's in the way because it gets too tall. So I use that recip to remove it. And then we're gonna use this kind of for my remote repair business. This stuff over here, the power inverter, flashlight, uh, angle grinder little uh, drill here impact wrench and an impact driver and a recip and I got two three amp batteries so we move over here to the two stroke equipment I'm just gonna say this real quick this is the oil I like to use 10w40 at least up here I might bump I'm gonna bump down to 30 weight when I go down to the southern region full synthetic 10w40 I like using it in this stuff here because it's good it's really good oil mobile one so we got an Echo SRM-225. Don't know what happened to that logo. Must have happened pretty recently when I was moving stuff around. That, it's still pretty much brand new. I haven't even gone through the first line of Weed Whacker line. And then we got an Echo PE-225. I bought that a week ago. It's an Nigeria. I barely haven't, haven't used it too much yet. Then we got an Echo ES-250. Bought that last year with the SRM-225. I got this Echo PB-250, which, um... That's the only one that's not that's used in everything I use now. I got that um, for free by my neighbor. It's in great shape. Just got this yesterday, okay? So it's pretty much brand new. It's a Toro Super Recycler 190cc professional series, I guess they call this one now. 8.75, it's a bigger engine. It's not like the Quantums, these have more power because uh, they're more efficient, I guess. It's overhead valve 190cc. Got the personal pace, electric start, push button, <clears throat> cast aluminum deck. I haven't even given this one a go because I'm installing an hour meter on this one. You can buy one that you wrap around the spark plug. There's the other side with the kickers and accelerator. Metal transmission. Grease fittings on the rear end. <clears throat> Has like this flex handle system here. Suspension. Easy flip things. I'm gonna move the handle like straight up or fold it completely down and slap it in. Feels better than the Honda equivalent. Those felt real flimsy. I've used those. I actually have an HRX. Well, actually, that one's not equipped with them. Snap them back in. These are solid. So that's my mower. Here's another new piece of equipment we bought from the same dealership as I bought the Echoes. It's a Husqvarna TS-142X. <clears throat> Sorry. Has a Briggs & Stratton uh, V-Twin. These ones are weird. They have hydraulic lifters. I don't know. I just thought that. That's a weird fun fact. That has one of these crappy batteries that they give it, they come with that. Probably I'm going to throw an interstate when that one fries. Has a, a Tough Torque K46 transaxle hydrostatic. Um, has this nice 42 inch deck here with this uh, nice bracing for hitting stuff real thick uh, uh, fab fabricated metal here 10 year warranty on the deck I'm not really going to be mowing with it so your height adjustment is I know you like oh hydraulic lift but this look I can pick it up with my finger 
real easy. You got your gas tank right here. It's a three gallon gas tank. Nice uh, seat, it's not really bad. It is fake leather, but it's like, it doesn't crack. Cause it's like this, uh, it's like what you get in some cars, like with fake leather. Uh, got bigger tires in the back than your average one. You have uh, Carlisle turf savers on them. High lift blades under the deck. Currently it has 9.2 hours on it. LED headlights. Reasonable cast iron front end. Just got this one a month ago. Not bad, huh? We're gonna give it a start up here. All right, sit right here. Like this nice uh, rubber wrap steering wheel here. Okay, your throttle. Slap her on. All right. We're actually not even gonna use a throttle. We'll just start it on idle. Let's give her a start. Besides the other snapper that I'm uh the other because I have two of these the other one just has the blower housing pulled off of it right now because I'm repainting but um this is what I have left of last year's equipment besides that trailer no longer have the 130 BT this is what I have left of like my last setup no longer the 130 BT uh sold that all I have left is this 128L Husqvarna weed whacker Gonna be replacing the coil because I snapped it. Runs good. Must be selling this one. All right, we got this snapper. High vac, uh, 21 inch. I got two of these. It's a high vac because it has the lipped in deck. Still mulch is good. Um, <clears throat> the Quantum XTL six horse. It's in nice shape. You gonna be selling that one. Um. Friction disc setup. Reasonable transmission. Electric start don't work. I'm gonna be pulling that off before I well before I sell it. Your throttle. Drive system friction disc. A snow blower type deal, except as a differential. Unlike a snow blower. Well most. Besides the Toros. Next I got this um Briggs and Stratton 22 inch uh single stage snow blower. With an 8950 series engine. Good, good snow blower. Always solid machine. All metal auger housing. Um, a little rusty because I always left it outside. I know taking care of my stuff. Um, I usually do, but it's a snow blower. So. And it runs good. Engine runs. I'm going to be selling this one to my friend because I don't really have anywhere to get rid of it because no one's going to be buying one in July or June. Starts up. Uh, great snow blower. Solid. It, it went through the, the season, the snowblower season is just fine. It's a durable machine. I also got, this is what I have left really in my snow setup. I've sold a couple things already. I also got a snow shovel and this little spreader. I had a bigger one, but I didn't need it. Then we got this riding mower here. It's my ghetto rider, I guess I like to call it. It has a nine horsepower uh, power built flathead. Got the ghettoest battery setup ever, but it's called the ghetto mower. Still cranks, doesn't it? Got that throttle system right there because it's more comfortable than the one up here. And I like having being able to just flip it instead of having to move a lever. I can just slap it, you know, don't have to do nothing. If I can rev it up fast, rev it down fast, you know. Got the pole cord in case this electric start fails. 
See, it still cranks. It has a four lug uh, hub on the back holding these wheels on. A little dirty, you know. Don't really keep this one clean because it's the ghetto mower. So more than I probably should with it sometimes. Um, got these Hobo Freight Specials, Harbor Freight Special tires on it. On the front here. I'm going to be selling this one probably to my friend or somebody. doesn't matter. I have the deck for it. So, yeah. That's the entire setup here. Um, I'll show you some pictures of some other stuff I have laying around. I'm going to be getting rigging up some sort of getting one some sort of uh push mower going so i'll have a second mower till i move i'll sell it probably a cheapo one so i can sell it fast you know some people don't like to buy the more expensive stuff so i'm not gonna be holding on to you know more expensive just so i can have a secondary yeah there you guys go